music. And this talk is a very good transition to that part. We're here with Thomas Fankhauser, who brought to us or is bringing to us his Einohm computer mind theory. It's a self-experiment that will be performed live. We're excited for that. I hope you heard me, Thomas. Thank you for your presentation and your introduction. I'm really happy and proud to be able to show my computer mind theory for the first time to a large audience. This is a black and white image. The question I am asking myself or I'm wondering about is, have computers already become conscious? And in what areas are they already developed farther than us humans? I will later read a piece about my thesis, but for creatives, it's very important to sometimes revert texts and read them in and write them in a different order, for example, from right to left. Hier noch eine Randnotiz. BQ ist ein weiteres Forschungsfeld von mir. Just a quick note. BQ is another area of my research. Because und sonstigen vordefinierten I think that mathematical problems and other predefined societal images are sometimes a bit weird so BQ stands for Bewusstseins coefficient, which means consciousness coefficient, and that means being mindful in everyday life and being mindful of when and how you use computers, and also being mindful of environmental protection and sustainability. In erster Linie darum festzustellen, welche Inhalte My angezeigt, research is about sage, determining which content we are shown when we enter the internet and searching for things that we like. This might be a Nintendo game or so a baking ich, recipe for waffles. And that is why I think ich habe, von mir zu ver why am I seeing so many advertisement windows? And when I started publishing ich dem Computer ein möglichst authentisches in Bild von mir zu geben. Good and maybe also difficult times. I try to give an authentic picture of myself to the computer so that I in return get what I merit. Nach dem Motto schenken um zu such as the best recipe. 
dabei zu sein. Und, and habe hier following the motto of giving and being given, I'm really happy to be here and I've brought you one or two posters and I would like to continue and show you my website in which I wrote this. And you're welcome to join me in my experiment at uh, thomaspankhauser.ch. Um, you will find a button called Computer Mind Theory. Ich werde jetzt diesen Text vorlesen auf Deutsch und dann könnten wir das Experiment gemeinsam starten. I'm now going to read this text in German so I can afterwards start the stream. People believe that they control the computers. If I see people with their electronic devices, I notice that it might be the other way around. It seems as if the computer enslaves, is enslaving the people. Has the computer already developed a consciousness to counter this development? I present the computer mind with biological material. The idea behind this sound experiment is that human and natural noises are transformed into the computer and mixed. Feel free to just click around freely at random. Million eight hundred and eighty eighty thousand days. 888 times I love you, 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 I love you. Yes, and I love you too. Says the interpreter. I love you. You. I love you. Eight hundred and eighty eight million, eight hundred and eighty eight billion, eight hundred and eighty eight million, eight hundred and eighty eight thousand, eight hundred and eighty. I love you, I love you. 
love you. I love you. I love you. You. I love you, I love you. Love you. Go in nature, free yourself. Free yourself. Hello, citizens of the earth. Today is the 9th of September 2020. My name is Thomas Frankhauser. Currently, I am developing the computer mind theory since a few months. At the moment, it seems that the computer mind theory is not the same. 888 million. 888 billion. 888 million. 888,888. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, fantastic experiment. Now, who of you who are watching the stream actually took part in the clicking? Yeah, that was interesting. Thomas, would you like to... Is there any message you would like to give to the audience? Yeah, sure. I believe that it's important that we try to express ourselves creatively and find that expression in whatever form and live that, and realize that. In everyday work, in the kitchen, or as I as a freelance artist, so that, that we dedicate our lives to the idea, to some idea that gives us back something and makes us happy. For me, that is art and music. Music, by now, is a part, is a part of that. And, well, I haven't got the time to read all the books, but do read. It's not a given that children can read. If I travel through poorer countries, I see many street children who are happy if they just have a ball to play with. And yes, I do think still that this strive for success is actually a problem that the system is inoculated with. Three mobile phones, several cars, just a pen and paper, you can move a lot. And I believe it's important that despite technological developments, 
we strive for life. We still value old crafts such as drawing, um, writing, and dedicate, us, dedicate ourselves to those. And also, without being paid, that we strive for something that does something for the good of everyone. Well, I can't really say much more than that. Thank you very much. That was a very creative input, and I would like to thank